We're going to look at Jen Coley, Chapter 1, 15, 18, 20, and 22 in this very first podcast. So, number 15 tells us the sun on average is 93 million miles from Earth and wants to know how many meters this would be. So I started with 93 million miles. I looked inside my front cover of my June Coley and it told me there are 1.609 kilometers in one mile. And then I know based on my metric prefix knowledge that in one kilometer there are a thousand meters. Multiply all that out and you should get 1.49 times 10 to the 11th meters. And that's number 15. Alright, number 18. It's a neat little problem. It tells us that the diameter of a typical atom is 1 times 10 to the negative 10th meters. And it wants to know how many inches that would be. Well, I looked inside the front cover of Jean Coley, and there wasn't a straight meters to inches kind of thing. So, I do know that there are 100 centimeters in every meter. And Jean Coley did tell me that there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch. And that gave me 3.94 times 10 to the negative ninth inches. Now, the B part says if I've got a line that's one centimeter long, how many atoms are all along that line? Well, one centimeter, I know on one meter there are 100 centimeters. And I know that one atom is 1 times 10 to the negative 8th meters wide. Multiplied that all out and I got there are 1 times 10 to the 8th atoms along that 1 centimeter line. And that's 18. Now, Number 20 wants us to take several units and convert them to other units. The first of which was kilometers per hour to miles per hour. Well, I know from before that there are 1.609 kilometers for every mile. And that worked out to be about 0.6 miles per hour. In other words, one kilometer per hour <coughs> is about 0.6 miles per hour. Next, they wanted us to do meters per second to feet per second. So again, there is no straight meters to feet. So I went through the centimeter again. I know that one meter is a hundred centimeters. And the front of my Jean Coley told me that in one foot there are 30.48 centimeters. And so that worked out to be about 3.3 feet per second. In other words, a meter per second is roughly 3 feet per second. Now, lastly, and really most useful, 
they wanted you to convert kilometers per hour to meters per second. And this will be something that you will have to do fairly often in physics. I know that there are a hundred, or excuse me, a thousand meters in one kilometer. Now let's get rid of the hours. I know that there are 60 minutes, oops, well, Tamara, one hour, there are 60 minutes. And in one minute, there are 60 seconds. And so that works out to be about 0.3 meters per second, or 0.28 meters per second. In other words, one kilometer per hour is about a third of a meter per second. Now, last, let's look at number 22. 22 tells us that the light years, the distance light travels in one year. All right, so I started with the speed of light, 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. I know that there are 60 seconds in one minute, and there are 60 minutes in one hour. There are 24 hours in one day. and. There are 365 and a fourth days in one year. If you multiply all that out, you get 9.46 times 10 to the 15th meters per year. And that's the answer to A. The B part wants us to change that to astronomical units per year. An astronomical unit being the distance from the Earth to the Sun. So, since it didn't give me astronomical units in meters but kilometers, I had to change first meters to kilometers. Now I know that one astronomical unit is 1.5 times 10 to the 8th kilometers. Multiply all that out and we get the answer to B which is 63,073 astronomical units per year. The C part wanted us to change the speed of light in meters per second to astronomical units per hour. So now what I did was just start completely anew. The speed of light is 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. I know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. There are 60 minutes in one hour. <clears throat> in one kilometer, there are a thousand meters. And one astronomical unit is 1.5 times 10 to the 8th 
times 10 to the 8th kilometers. And that left me with astronomical units per hour. Do the math and you should get 7.2 astronomical units per hour. And that's number 22. And that's the end of this first podcast for chapter 1.